earlier I installed Gemini to give it a try and now when I try to open the assistant even though the application is uninstalled it's still here, Gemini is still here so it automatically went to, to this mode and I need to know how to remove Gemini completely and disable the voice assistant in Android This is Gemini. Removing Gemini and disabling voice assistant on Android. Okay. Okay, so I still have Gemini. I uninstalled it, but it's still there somehow. And I don't know what to do with this thing. And it's trying to collect information. It's trying to still do something. So I have the voice assistant here and now this is Gemini thing and I want to disable it completely. So to disable the to disable the voice assistant or this Gemini thing. This is the Gemini of AI voice assistant from Google and you will probably see this more often and there is also the classic traditional voice assistant and I want to disable it now and I'll show you quickly. Go to settings, search for assistant. Okay. So assistant voice and sounds. You can change the voice of it if you want. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google. Here are the voices you can pick. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want here are the voice. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. Here are the here are the voices. They're all creepy. They're all weird. They're all weird. I don't want them. Okay, so when you go to the settings, you search for Google Assistant or just Assist, and you have Digital Assistant, Ask your Google Assistant questions, and you have Assistant settings here. Okay, so now. Hey Google and Voice Match, I want to disable this. So this is already disabled. Hey Google and Voice Match. I just wanted to make sure it is disabled. Some prompts here. I would say no thanks. Okay, so if you want the traditional, the classic assistant, here you can scroll all the way to digital assistants from Google. Choose between Gemini and Google Assistant. So now it automatically switched to Gemini when I installed the Gemini app and I will switch it to the traditional one and it's giving me some reasons not to do this. Okay. Okay, so this is if you if you want to switch from Gemini to the traditional assistant, but there is this little link here. You can turn off your digital assistant from Google at any time. So here you can turn it off completely. Turn off. Doesn't do anything. Let's see. Long press. Okay, so when I long press, it's asking me to turn it on. At least you have the option. Long press there and you can turn it on. And you can turn it on from here. Hey Google. What song is this? Play, sing or hum a song. Okay. I like this usual, the old style of the assistant. So let's disable it again. Go to assistant. Go to... Where is it? Digital assistance from Google. Everything here is with the check bo the boxes here, but to turn off, it looks like just one of those help links that nobody clicks, those terms and conditions and 
So turn off, long press, and it's off. Yep. So now it's off. If you wanted to turn it on, you can turn it on anytime to search for something. Hey Google, what song is this? Uh, it's just a search. This is just a search from the search bar. Thanks for watching.